So with the recent release of Rip Curl's Free Scrubber, new surf movie starring Tom Curran, we're gonna put it through Coach's Eye and break down the surfing. We're super excited to, to break this video down. It is an absolute golden video. If you haven't watched it already, then we highly suggest that you do, but let's dive into that video now. So we've got the Free Scubber movie. This is officially your favorite surf movie at the moment. It is so funny. How's the intro when he's walking across the rocks and falls and breaks his layer? It's absolute god. So uh, quick story. When we, uh, when I very first watched this video, I, I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna watch it just before I go to bed. And I take my mouth shut every single night before I go to bed. Put on that movie, that drone footage at the beginning of him walking along and then him slipping on the rocks. This bit of tape that I had on my face just went poof and suddenly shot off my face. The best beginning. It's an awesome movie. Let's bring it up and then let's get you to break down what you're seeing, the surfing that we're seeing, because it is absolutely phenomenal. So, so let's get the iPad up. I think Tom Curran's in what, his 60s? No, sorry, he's about 56, somewhere Is around he? There. Sorry, yeah. Wikipedia, it. no, but let's just, let's just yeah. get, go 56. But his surfing's still timeless. I mean, yeah. at 56 he's ripping so that means I've got like another 10 years to improve <laughs> until I can surf like him so I'm really looking forward to it awesome well, let's, okay. let's, let's get it underway so we're, we're starting sort of a few minutes a few minutes into the actual movie itself yeah I, I just kind of scrubbed until I found a way yeah, that um, I thought he could he's got a lot of variation now the yeah. nice thing is because he's at a point break um, he's got a bit of time and yeah. you, you get to kind of see all the technique and so on yeah. so the first thing I want to make you mindful to is that when a wave breaks, you've got energy running down and you've also got water sucking up. So the closer you can join those dots together, so if I did a dot there and a dot there, okay, the closer you can surf and join those two dots together, the better you're surfing because you're tapping into the wave's energy. Yeah. Okay, so check this out. Tom Curran, all the way back to the foam ball and then he lunges, doesn't do a poo man. Oh, so bad. his style is epic. See how the hand touches the water? Yeah. He lunges and he just leans the board over. And the board actually starts accelerating faster because it's basically flowed downhill. Mm. Now, he's not standing on the board. If he stood on it, the board would, there'd be friction on the board. Yeah. It would actually go slower. So he's leaning over the rail and you can see that because he's touching the water. Yeah. And you, you were saying before that, the, that a lot of surfers have... Have, oh. have, have, have looked at Tom for inspiration and, and have looked at him for his style because he is just such a good surfer. Well, like if someone goes down the line with really good style, because they're moving well, you feel like enticed to want to watch them more. Yeah. But as soon as some bad style comes out, you're almost like, oh, I don't, I don't want to see it. Like you'll, you'll look away and, and yeah, mm. it's something you don't want to look at. Yeah. So, um, all right, so he leans on the bottom turn and extends... Now, I've spoken to this so many times. On a swing, if you want to get speed, you compress and extend. Yeah. Okay, so he compressed on the bottom. He's extending to go up. And he waits, and he waits, and he rides up to the top. He twists all the way around back into the foam ball. Mm. Okay? Then he rides down, nose to the beach. So again, he's just joining the dots. He's joining the bottom dot, top dot. Yeah. Creating speed from the wave. So it's kind of effortless for him. Then there's the extension. You'll notice that he's standing up nice and straight. Yeah. Okay. So if you bend at the hips or anything, it's going to make your surfing really wobbly. His surfing looks silky, silky smooth because of his straight up posture and the lunging and straight up. Mm. So it's something that you could really pay some attention to. Now on the turns, look how nice and slow it is. He's taking his time. He's not rushing. The longer you take to do a turn, the more water displacement is happening over there. Yeah. And the bigger and more visual the turn looks. So many kids nowadays just surf and do a yeah. quick turn and it's a little pfft. Yeah. It's like not this huge, big, like gouging turn. And that's something which, which you talk about time and time again is that Slow. a lot of people are surfing so fast thinking that by attacking that lip really fast, it's gonna throw all of this spray. But the reality is, is that by taking time and sort of bringing that power and that twist to the turn, that's where about you get these huge buckets of spray that everybody wants well, to be able to produce. Think about golf. If you want to hit a golf ball really far, you have to relax. Yeah. If you put any tension into it, you just kind of chop the ball or the ball veers off at a weird angle. So 
have a look at Tom. He's yeah. so relaxed. Okay. And you can see it in his style. He's really just feeling it. Even the rebound of the foam is composed and it's relaxed. Okay. He starts to play with it. He's playing. He's sitting on the foam ball. Yeah. Now, most people in that position get so anxious and so nervous that they just rush out into the flats. They just kind of do that. Yeah. And, uh, and a golden word that you put in there, and I know that every time you say this, I kind of highlight it, but that is the word play. Yeah. And being able to play out there, because when we play, we have fun, and when we have fun, then we learn more. And it, and it makes surfing so much more enjoyable. So, so um, yeah. I want to bring your attention to that area over there. So from there, the water's sucking off the bottom, and then it's going to be throwing off the top. Yeah. So that's kind of the wave's energy circle. Or if this was um, fighting terms, that would be the strike radius. Yeah. So from that distance, that's how far out you could do your cardboard slide or you could wrap a turn and hit mm. the foam or what you could project to. Yeah. A lot of people just try to strike out and they surf outside of that radius. And then they've got to kind of like bounce their way back again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where it's easy for Tom just to, to compress down, extend up, compress down, extend up. And every time he does that, he just taps into wave energy. Yeah. So it affords him the luxury of slowing it all down. Yeah. Because he's using wave energy. Right. Now, watch this. Head dip. <laughs> Woo, so head stylish. Dip. <laughs> okay. Look how high he raises the back arm. I, yeah, and so something that I really noticed then was how relaxed he was in his face as well. Yeah, he's, like, a, he's exhaling, he's mm. breathing. Okay, now the backhand. Notice how it's the same angle of the, as the surfboard. Yeah. So basically... I, yeah, you could almost draw a line between the two and they would be parallel. 100%. So if I took your wrist and I did this to you, your whole body leans back. Yep. So just by rolling that hand, it sends a signal through the whole board to put pressure on that heel edge on the inside there. Yeah. Okay. Then he looks, where am I going to go? How long is this turn going to take? And then he casually draws it out, draws it out, draws it out, lunges. So just, just go foam. back a little bit. One thing that's, that, that, can you just break down? So this hand comes up. Yes. And as he comes down, you, there's, a, there's, a, there's a transition in the hands. Okay. So if you're driving a car, he's basically turning to the left yep then when he transitions is when he wants to go to the toe edge and turn to the right okay it's the same as drive to left yeah. drive to the right okay so there's the transition then he needs to switch the toe edge so he raises the left hand up and drops the right hand down mm. then as he taps the foam he compresses and extends out of it boom back to the foam so every single turn is back to the power zone. It's like he's on a flying carpet. We should nickname him Aladdin instead. <laughs> Look at that right back to the foam. So nice and stylish. Now, when he wants to get speed down the line, all he does is he stacks his body. So let's okay. play the rest of this. Check it out. So relaxes, stacking. Compress, extend. Compress, extend. So look how hard the hand is for his balance. Mm. So interesting that can you can you pause that a second and just go back because there was oh, there was one moment there where it looked it looked like everything was going to stop like the wave was going to run out of power and a, a lot of the time you're sort of beginner surfers and you intermediate surfers and my, myself I would do exactly the same thing at that point there I, I might sort of think oh yeah the wave's over and then dip out the back he sort of almost slows down but then all of us it's like it's like he's got this little charge he goes and then he suddenly turns it back on again and okay, he starts so, to go again yeah the wave is hit, hitting the bank differently so mm. sometimes it's got more energy sometimes it has less energy yeah the best way to feel that is by standing up straight and stacking so it's kind of like the more you can relax your muscles yeah the more feeling comes through the board into your body and the more you can process that feeling yeah but if you if you tense you, you don't tend to feel that energy in the wave yeah or if you're trying to enforce your will on the wave so what, what Tom does is he waits for the feeling, he waits, and there's the feeling, now he compresses, extends, yeah, you can, twist. You can see that moment. And nose faces the beach, all the way back round to the foam. There's the lean, there's the extension. Look at the speed difference. So sprinter in the starting blocks. Yep. Okay. Ballroom dancer, nice and high. Look at the hand positioning. Yeah. Okay, so this 
is what we call the coffee cup. Right, so he's like the king of coffee. He's just got it up nice yeah. and high. So Andy Irons had that same mm. hand. Um, Ethan Ewing has that same hand. Rob Machado on his goofy foot has that same hand. And we call that front-on surfing. And the front-on surfing is the style of surfing. Yeah. That side-on crabby. So basically, Tom Curran has left foot, right hand forward. Yeah. Crabby surfers have left foot, left hand forward. Mm -hmm. So there's a big difference there. And this is still the, the same wave that we started off on, isn't it? Same the same way. one. So pretty much everything that you need to learn about surfing, you can almost get from the, watching him surf this yeah. one wave. Look at the lunge. Look at the knee positioning. Wow. He's pointing his knees. He's looking where he wants to go. So everything's Looks just like he's flying. flying. Then on the cutback, wow. look how high the back arm is. And he just looks, one, looking, two, three, rebounds off the foam. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Absolutely amazing stuff. Such, such, such a good wave. And so if if, if somebody was to, did you want to go, because it's a bit, bit bigger here. Yeah. Okay. So notice how he takes his time. So when you go all the way down to the bottom, okay, it gives the wave time to reform and come up. Mm. He actually looks like he stood there waiting at that he point did. in time. That's the whole thing. You're, you're reading and you're waiting for the energy. When you feel the wave start to draw, that's your cue to extend and go up. Yeah. Rather okay. than panicking. I mean, if that was me on that wave, oh, I'd be going, guys are just oh, panicking, let's get down the line. Doing, kind of like doing, oh, what do I do? What do I do? How do I turn? So yeah, he's looking totally relaxed. He's yeah. stacking and he's in balance. Okay. Then he'll lean. It's like, so it's, 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 like, it's like he decides, and oh, now let's start surfing. Well, yeah, when he feels it, like, oh, yeah. here it is. And you can see as he leans, the wave starts drawing energy up. Yeah. So it's going to start pulling him to the top half of the wave. Had he have turned when it was flat, he wouldn't have felt, felt that energy. Okay. All the way around. So he's right in the pocket waiting for, and he's feeling that energy in mm. the wave. So can you just talk about the stool there? So he does a little bit of a stool, doesn't he? Because he sees it's going to throw over. Yep. So most people, when they go for barrels, they surf too fast. They surf ahead of it and they never, mm. never get barreled. They get what's, what you call leggy barrels, like the leash gets barreled, yeah. they don't. So you have to be as close to that foam ball as possible inside of that power zone where the wave's throwing over. Okay. Okay. Um, and then he's waiting, waiting, waiting inside of the barrel. And look how calm and relaxed he is. So good. So all he's literally doing is lunging, extending, lunging, extending with the time of the wave throwing. Mm. So the wave gets super steep, so he rides down and he gets speed from the wave. Yep. He doesn't like violently pat the cat or wiggle his body. So him generating speed, he looks as stylish as someone, somebody freewheeling a bicycle down a hill. Yeah. Okay. Um, then he reads the next section, compresses, and he's totally relaxed, standing up nice and straight. Wow. So, do you see him moving a lot in the barrel? No, he's motionless, pretty okay, much. Okay, so someone riding a bicycle is basically top half nice and quite, mm. the legs are going. Yeah. So what you might not be seeing is that his knees are doing a lot of compressing yeah. and extending, but the hands aren't going all over yeah. the place. So some of the um, less pretty surfing is kind of where the guys have got too many moving parts so look at the hands are relaxed and he surfed out quite a long way in front so then but this is what we call a cardboard slide so from that flat section there he tries to extend so he throws his body and slides that cardboard oh there he is up. okay yeah right okay nose to the beach so he's not surfing that way he's actually ridden down mm. so basically water is all flowing that way yeah so every single turn that he does, it's a functional flowing turn. Okay. So he leans on the bottom turn. Oh, sorry. A bit of a barrel section. He's waiting for it. Look at the flow. Down, up, compress, extend. Yeah. Compress, extend. So there's another way that I get really excited about. We start doing some turns. So I'm, I'm kind of going to go through this. Little so I was just scrolling through it. If somebody was to, I mean, you should all go and watch this movie anyway. It is one of the greatest surf movies that's, that's, that's ever been made. So some, somebody watching this, and obviously we watch a lot of these videos to 
just for the fun of it, but also there is this underlying thing of us watching these things to learn. What are the big sort of takeaways that you would say to people to look for in this Do you in this know video? where you are on a wave? In other words, do you know where the top is? Do you know where the bottom is? Do you know where the foam ball is? Mm. Like when you surf, how many times do you see the foam ball behind you? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm really bad for racing down the line all the time. And I mean, you're, okay. you're always telling me so to slow down. In that case, you don't know where you are on that wave. Yeah. Because you, you're basically out of, maybe out yeah. of sync with it. So watch, watch Tommy here. He takes off nose to the beach. So he's used the wave for speed. And he's taken the cleanest line down. Okay, he hasn't like done a double pump or anything. Yeah. Just straight down speed. Okay, leans, beautiful calf. Where's he looking? Are oh, you looking back at the foam? Yeah, okay, so he goes all the way around and reconnects with that energy. Yeah. He's touching the foam. Okay, next bottom turn. And there, I mean, there he was he was behind the foam a little bit, and I think a lot of people would sort of panic at that point, go, oh, I yeah. can't get back in front. Well, have a look now, he's actually riding on the foam ball. It's epic. Goes up, does a turn. Ah, uh, kicked out. Let's. Oh, I think this is. Ah, oh, this is the one. Check us out. Relaxed, looking at the foam. So mm. he's picking a line and he's gauging how long do I have to get back there? Yeah. Okay. So his his timing is on point. I mean, and, and looking at that, he's moved quite a long way away from the foam there. Okay. Do you think he's pushing on the back foot? No. No, he's actually standing with all his weight centered over the front foot. Yeah. So he's actually standing forward, riding down. Yeah, because that arm's real pulled around so that his, his, his chest forwards. Yeah, he's doing a twist. Yeah. So he's twisted off the top and he's passing his coffee to where he wants to go. Then he holds it all the way around, back onto the foam ball. The wave stands up again. Now, the, the heavier that wave gets, or the bumpier it gets, he actually starts raising his hand. See there? Starts picking his hands up. Yeah. Little Ooh. barrel, another barrel. The drone pilot's desperately now, going, I need to get ahead. If you have a look, he's mo not moving his hands much. No. It's almost like he's got a, a cup of coffee yeah. and he's, depending on how fast or how slow he wants to go, he just passes that coffee through the barrel. Yeah. Come on, where's that one way? There's one particular way. That so, it's such a good video. Even, even though we're not watching it properly and I'm watching you scroll through it, it's okay. still just so, magical to watch. On the phone ball. I was actually trying to count how many times it hits the foam ball. He's just seeing such beautiful, perfect lines. The top half doesn't move too much. He's almost he's always got that hand in front of him. Yeah. It's never behind him. Oops. Okay, this could be it. Let's see. Oh, Oop. what did I just do there? Let's go back this way. Here. We'll go back to coach side. There we go. Little coffee cup hand in front. See it there? Boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he, if he doesn't spill coffee, he's not going to fall over. And mm. if he wants to go faster, the coffee cup goes more forward or more back. Yeah. Absolutely epic. So what does the front hand do? It gets out of the way. So he's okay, pointing... Yeah, so I was going to ask you about that because because that, um, that, that arm is actually got, got some movement sort of happening there. It's, it's so relaxed that it's out of the way. He doesn't care yeah. about it. It's, it's not a functioning real okay. arm over there for now. Beautiful Man, just, turn just, all the way around to the foam ball. Oh, so good. Compressors on the down. Again, all the way back around to the foam ball. To the foam ball. He's literally just sitting on the foam ball almost the entire ride. It's, mm. it's epic. What we'll do actually is we'll, um, we, we will put a link to... We're at the end there, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Did I? Yeah, that was a full 15, 15 minutes. Cool. Right, uh, so, so yeah, so we'll put a link to obviously to the to the original video so that you can go in there and watch it if you haven't watched it, or even if you have watched it and now this has inspired you to go back and watch it again. The link will be in the in the description above or below this video. But yeah, what, what's so overall? What are your what's your your thoughts on that video? I know that you're you're, you're well, frothing the, on the it. The reason why it's so stylish is. Think of a duck on water. Like what you don't see below the water is how the duck's moving, yeah. the feet. But the top half is quiet. So why Tom's so um, stylish is, first of all, he uses the wave's energy to create his speed and drive, yeah. not, not his body. 
he doesn't look like someone learning how to ride a surf skate on the street where he's just going wiggle 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 because that doesn't look nice no. then when he does need to move he's using his knees and he's compressing and extending while keeping his back straight so that he's in balance mm. and then the more crazy the wave gets the more calm he gets and he just holds that coffee cup and doesn't spill so for me um just his lines are timeless and yeah. he makes everything look effortless and it's his um his stacked body um it's his good com composure and i think he's just looking relaxed and breathing where a lot of people surf with so much tension yeah, yeah yeah absolutely so if you've enjoyed this video please leave us in the comments below what was your biggest takeaway out of all the little nuggets that clayton shared then what was your biggest takeaway and as i say if you haven't watched a movie already make sure that you uh, follow the link it will be around this video somewhere so that you can head over and watch the video massive shout out to rip curl and tom curran for putting Such that video together it's, it's like a breath of fresh air i love that yeah. film so good all right guys thanks for tuning in that's it from me and clayton